What's up everybody, CJ Rich here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new around here, um, I kind of do a little bit of everything, but I'm an IT guy for a living. So I build computers, I repair computers, and I just offer IT support to local businesses in my area. So today with that said, we're gonna be working on my computer. So a little bit over a year, a year and a half or so ago, I built a nice Ryzen setup. So I've got a Ryzen 9 processor in there. So today I'm gonna be going from a water-cooled system. We're gonna go from this, over to this. So when I build computers, I'm not a very flashy kind of person. I don't really go above and beyond with modding anything. Um, I did originally have just the, the Wraith cooler that came with the Ryzen processor, um, but I wanted something that offered a little bit better cooling. So I went with the uh, water-cooled system, which is nice. And contrary to popular belief, I actually prefer an air-cooled system, so I'm going to be going back to this. It was uh, designed to work with the Ryzen 7, the Ryzen 9, uh, which is what I have. So before I jump into installing the new cooler, I wanna show you the Cinebench for the water-cooled system, and you can kind of monitor the temperatures, and then afterwards I'll show you uh, what the air-cooled system does. I really don't know what to expect. I don't know if I'm gonna get any improvement. I'm not unsatisfied with the cooling that the water cooler is offering. Um, I like to keep the fans on balanced, and when it's on balanced, they're extremely loud. And it may seem nitpicky, but I just don't like to hear the noise whenever I'm working, and I sit at this computer for eight hours a day. So, I want something that's quiet. I know I can change the fans over to quiet, but then my CPU temps rise. So, in the never-ending search for the ultimate cooling system that is quiet. So, that's kind of what led me here today. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so we just wrapped up here. We're at 102.38 degrees Fahrenheit currently. Um, you know, my processor here at scored, it says uh, 16,636 points uh, running Cinebench. So yeah, we're gonna wrap this up now. So now we've, we've put this through the test with the Corsair water cooler on there. And we'll do the same thing once we get the new cooler installed. See you guys back here then. Okay, so I went back in and started using this same CPU ID hardware monitor. And under load, it's showing the temperature of the CPU at 79 Celsius or 174 degrees Fahrenheit. So I thought that would be fair versus using the IQ software by Corsair to actually use the same exact thing on both. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just to remove the screws that are actually on the very top of my case, just a few uh, Phillips screws that are holding this thing into place currently. So I'm gonna take those off.
we've got some lights coming on, that's a good thing. So while this is running under full load, this is what this sounds like. And this is with my CPU completely maxed out. The fan speed is at 2033 RPMs. And yeah, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so interestingly enough, this just finished up. As you can see, my CPU ten temperature made it up to 145 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas I think with the water cooler, we were around 110 degrees Fahrenheit at the end. Uh, but for some reason, my last score ended up coming in at 16,636 points, whereas this one came in at 16,782 points. So I scored a little bit higher on Cinebench. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, um, but I did. One thing I can tell you for sure is that the cooler is much quieter than when I had my fans on balanced with the water cooler. However, with the water cooler set to quiet, it was pretty quiet as well. So hopefully uh, I'll use this one here over the next few days and I'll be able to see if I actually like it better than my other one. But for now, um, I do think I'm pretty happy with it. Installation was pretty easy and I did score a little bit higher on this benchmark test. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap this video up. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. What were you impressed with the air cooler or the water cooler? Which one would you go with and why? Also, I don't do a whole lot of videos like this, but let me know if you're interested in seeing me do some more of my computer work videos down below as well. Thanks again for watching, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.